How real is real if you're not talking about it? Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Travis Mills and Ronnie Jones. Great, how are you? Great, I love the enthusiasm. Absolutely, <laughs> Travis. You know it's all about the energy. You know that. Hey, I'm going to start with you, Travis, because I'm going to tell you something. You know, the the, the show really uh, um, gets me, and I want, I'm going to be taking notes during the entire uh, show on MTV. Help, I'm in a secret relationship. My father had two families going at the same time. I can so relate with this. Wow. Uh, that is, yeah, that is intense. And that is actually something that, I mean, we, we kind of deal with, you know, in this show. Um, and to your point, right, this is, this is stuff that happens every single day all around the world. Nobody is off limits. And, and this is really kind of a phenomenon that a lot of people can relate to, which I feel like is, uh, is why Ronnie and I are doing the show. Yeah. Ronnie, when a secret is revealed, you know there's going to be emotions because the, the human heart is only so strong. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and not only, you know, when the confrontation happens between these two people who love each other so much. And so, like you said, with love, there's a lot of passion there, but throughout the journey, you know, there's a level of, of, of intensity because there's a lot of speculation when you don't know what an answer, what, is your mind kind of wonders what's wrong with me do they have another family Mm -hmm. are they cheating on me are they what what is this secret so i mean it's just intense from start to finish and like you said i mean love is is passion and um the the, the tensions are high and those confrontations get a little testy at times well travis one of the things that that my heart always goes to is that the, the the men or women who didn't know and and then what what they go through because i mean that relationship i mean i almost feel like that sometimes it's entrapment because the the person that knows what's going on has trapped both of these two people or even three or four people Yeah, I mean, you definitely come across situations where somebody is using this for, you know, their own personal gain. They have they have some selfish reasons. And I mean, it really just goes to show like how unfair it is to the other person in the relationship and how the gaslighting and the lying and the manipulation can really drive people to feel like it's their fault, like something is wrong with them, which then leads them to call Ronnie and I because they feel like they have no other options. They've exhausted all of their resources. They've tried to have these conversations to no avail, which is where we kind of come in and shake things up and for lack of a better word, force people to be honest and sit down and have a real conversation. Well, Ronnie, how, and, you how, know, for us. I, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, please. You. Oh, well, I was just saying, you know, lucky for us, you know, we, we have, we build the trust with these people to to then reach out to their partners uh, to have this difficult conversation. We had people that were like, listen, I'm not about that. You know, I, I don't feel comfortable. You know, we get it. We're coming there. We're coming in there with cameras and things like that. But that lets you know the level of desperation. Mm-hmm. And thank goodness, you know, nine times out of ten, people actively decide to sit down with us and that lets you know that they are are invested in this relationship it's just something is just not right so i'm glad you brought that up because what happens in the relationship when when the the i I guess the alpha dog in in the relationship be it the male or the female doesn't want to let go i mean it's like no i want both of these families and it's not fair to both families i mean listen in that situation that's on that person doing the hiding. How unfair is that? You want your cake and eat it too. Uh, we can't have it that way. Yeah. Especially when you have it communicated, you know, and, and what a terrible position to put those two people in. Yeah. Well, like you are not the, the you know, only one in this story. You have other people's hearts and their lives and their time and energy invested in that. Like you got to be a big, big boy or girl. To, to own up to your, to, to what you're doing. Travis, how much how many uh, how much time will be put into the kids if if there are kids in the relationship? Because I you know meeting sisters for the very first time at the age of uh, fifty was was kind of freaky for me. Oh man, <laughs> that is something that I can't even uh, begin to to think about. I mean, how was how was that for you? What did it what did it feel like when when you kind of discovered? you know, another side to your family. Well, the thing that I, that I remember the most was that I didn't believe it. I, I denied it and, and, and until I saw pictures and I went, oh, my God, we look like each other. Oh, hell, this is true. 
Wow. I mean, yeah, I, I can't even begin to imagine that. You know, I, I feel like to add kind of to what Ronnie says, it's, it's really all about empathy. And, you know, you really have to be able to put yourself in these people's shoes and positions and, and kind of insert yourself in their relationships to see why this has gone on so long. And, and oftentimes it is a culmination of lies, manipulation, uh, bad intentions, you know, people wanting their cake and, and, and to eat it too, right? Like they want to appear single while having the stability of a relationship. Um, and, and that's just not fair. And I think Ronnie, uh, she's dropping some gems on this whole <laughs> season of episodes. You know, if you, if you want some, you want some life advice, you want the relationship advice, watch this show. Cause you're going to walk away with something. And it's on MTV and listeners need to know it's help. I'm in a secret relationship. Travis, I love talking with you and Ronnie, I'm glad I finally got to meet you. So I, I can't wait to meet you guys again on, on different days, talking about all the projects you're, you're always involved in. Oh, thank you for all the supporting. We really appreciate it. Well, you guys be brilliant today, okay? You as well. All right, you as well.